Today we've got the ESS Crossbow Suppressor 2X Safety Glasses Combo. This is a kit that comes with two frames, one thin, one regular, and three different lenses. It runs about $105 to $120 online. So here you can see the case, which is pretty sturdy, along with the frames that I already assembled, and then a couple of the lenses. This is just kind of a little unboxing to show you what you get. Then you've got a retention strap and some sort of cleaning wipe. So you've got a copperish, which is good for slightly cloudy days, a gray, unpolarized for sunnier days. So on the side, you've got a retention clip, which I found to be really uncomfortable. It's got a peg that snaps in here, and it kind of pokes you in the side of the head. So I never use this, even though it's less sturdy. So you can see right there, it's not, not a great design. So here I've got it equipped with prescription lenses, which is why I bought these. So I'll show you how they come out right here. So you can take the lenses out separately and then the nose piece. And this can also be worn without the RX lenses and a normal nose piece. And those nose pieces have various heights. So you can get the lenses off, or I'm sorry, the, the RX insert off pretty easily. And there's our, this RX insert ranges from $20 to $30 plus the cost to make it. It's held in with fishing line and pretty much any optometrist can make it. And the nice thing about these is you can put your RX insert behind the lens, so if the lens gets damaged or if you want to color swap, you don't have to keep paying to make new lenses. So you're swapping out a $20 part rather than potentially an over $100 part. So the clear is what I use on a lot of, you know, murky days. This one's kind of beat up. I plan to replace it soon. So to see how you put it back together, you snap a peg in on each side, and then you snap in a center lock. And the system is pretty sturdy. It works pretty well. I can't complain too much. And then you snap the nose piece back in there. And after that, you can put your RX insert in. And so I'll just, I'm just showing you really quickly here, just so you can see how it goes. It's not too bad once you get the hang of it. It probably takes you about 10 or 15 seconds. I usually swap these before the match, depending on how sunny or cloudy it is that day. So this gives you an idea of how it is. With the clear insert, you can clearly see the with a clear lens, you can clearly see the RX insert. The copper hides it a little bit, but you're still going to look like a little bit of a weirdo. The gray lens with RX insert pretty much hides it. So I'll just show you, these are some regular safety glasses I have hanging around. So the sides are made to be thinner so that they're more comfortable and wearing hearing protection like earmuffs. I think it does a pretty good job. I can wear these pretty much all day pretty comfortably. They're good on the nose. They're good on the uh, kind of, I guess, temple sections. Just kind of an overall pan. And then this is those uh, kind of pegs I was telling you. So when you put here uh, earmuffs over top of them, it gets really uncomfortable really fast. So the RX insert stays pretty sturdy. The frames are pretty well attached to the lenses. Overall, it's a pretty, pretty rugged design. So to show you again in closer detail how you put the insert in, there's a set of notches at the top and the bottom. You line the frames up in the top notches and then you snap them into the bottom. And these frames are pretty flexible. I was originally pretty squeamish about bending them around, but then I got a lot more aggressive as I did it more often. And I haven't had any issues yet in about a year. So overall, I'll go into some other thoughts on why I bought these. I started buying these after I was competitively shooting. I got hit with uh, bullet fragments two or three separate times. And after that, I just put the money out there. I was using my regular glasses and I heard about all the injuries you could have with those, especially when I was shooting a lot of, you know, shotgun at steel or handgun at steel. It was kind of a, a scary thing when you get hit with pieces of a bullet. And I mean, it leaves a little, you know, scrape or a scab, but if it hit you in the eye, you could go blind in that eye. So I snagged these on sale for 105, but right now they're going for about 120 bucks. And they are both ANSI rated and mill rated. You can find details on which specs on the manufacturer's website. The pros I would say with this, you can put an RX insert in. My prescription is fairly strong. It's over two, and I've got astigmatism and farsightedness. I can't wear wraparound lenses like Oakley's, but the slight bend to these works. It also fully covers your eye, and it goes all the way around to the sides. Being able to swap out multiple lenses is definitely key. And then I think it's pretty comfortable. The nose pieces don't bother me even after wearing them for a long period of time. It takes a very long time for them to get sore around my ears. The issues. There's a little bit of distortion because you're looking through a prescription lens that's behind a clear lens or a colored lens. So be wary of that. And there's also a little bit of distortion because of the wraparound. Usually if you wear them for about five or 10 minutes, you get used to it and you don't notice it anymore. 
And the one major complaint I have with this is that the frame of them can kind of move down a little bit on your nose, or if you're just looking out of the corner of your eye, or I should say the top part of your vision, it can partially obstruct it when you're looking down a scope or something like that. So that's my main issue with it. I think it works pretty well for competitive shooting. I couldn't find anything much better for someone like myself that needs to have a prescription lens. I just can't shoot without it. Overall, I'm pretty happy with them. Trying to give you a rough idea of how these things worked and my experiences with them. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.